Um, as I was saying, this isn't my poem, but it's my dad's, so I'll just read here. Uh, the Sky Over Gaza by Peter Ewer. Uh, the phosphorus shell explodes high, so high, over homes and buildings jammed together, crates on a dock, cages stacked in a warehouse. Strangely beautiful, strangely <laughs> metaphorical, like Roman candles fizzing as on a Mediterranean holiday, a ghostly flower, pale thin leaves unfurling slowly downwards, a Portuguese man of war, stinging tentacles trailing over an ancient sea, flecks of smoldering confetti following the rumble of orchestras in the distance. They say white phosphorus has a special love for flesh, like gum to a soul, sweat to the skin, screams to a mouth. It kisses so deeply, searing cornea, scorching lung, charring bone. Does not matter, uniformed or not, man, woman, child, it covets them all and it will love them forever. But really, there is no metaphor over the Gaza sky. No beauty, no grace, not even a poem. How can it be? Just another low and dirty war crime by a low and dirty occupier. Too many have died, and many more are suffering. But we support those who are still breathing. For, once, for what, where once thrived prosperity and peace, lies a battered nation brought to its knees. A shadow has been cast of death and turmoil, as ruins litter the barren soil. But we stand now in just cause to honor their sacrifice and their loss, and those affected by this violence, we offer to them a moment of silence. And as we stand without a word, we give meaning to their voices unheard. For whatever our caste, race, religion, or creed, it is our duty to help those in need. So we occupy in solidarity on the grounds of sheer necessity and force the blind world to see while keeping them in our memory to those who in these circumstances have been thrown, showing them they are not alone. <laughs> 